Hey guys, it's Simon here with Cutting Edge Wood Design. Thanks for checking in today. Alright, so this is the next project that I'm going to work on. Um, I decided to go with this, uh, this burl piece instead of that huge uh, 50 inch diameter one because I have to figure out how I'm going to create that circular mold uh, for that dining table. Um, that's going to be a really expensive project, so i got to make sure I have plenty of time to figure out how I'm going to tackle that. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to be working on this beautiful uh, maple burl piece here. And what I have here in front of me are just a, a couple tools that I like to use uh, to get into the cracks and break up all the, uh, all the debris in here and all the bark. And what that does is it creates these voids in the wood that I can fill with the epoxy. So this piece here is three and a half feet long by two and a half feet wide and um, it's really beautiful. So what I'm gonna do next, after I'm finished digging all these holes out, is uh, tape up the bottom here. So I'm gonna apply the tape so that when I pour the epoxy in the holes, um, it doesn't seep out everywhere. And there's no point in building a huge uh, box around this to keep the epoxy in. So the trick is put the tape on the bottom uh, so your epoxy doesn't flow out. Make sure your tape is really secure on there. Um, and after I do that, what I'll do is I'll shoot a bead uh, around each hole so that the epoxy doesn't spill everywhere and uh, get all over my, uh, my project here. So uh, stay tuned, stay with me, and thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for your support, and I look forward to uh, tackling this job. Take care, guys.